All right, now let's get into an awesome DIY tech transformation that's all about revamping the old to make it thrillingly new. Imagine a retro gaming handheld, which on its own is pretty cool, being morphed into a Linux terminal. It's like turning a cherished vintage car into a high-powered electric vehicle. That's exactly what a clever hobbyist did with the Anbernic RG353V, resulting in something they've named the Anber Deck. Let's explore deeper into the topic with today's fresh new episode. Let's talk about Anbernic and the RG353V. For those not in the loop, Anbernic is a name that resonates with retro gaming enthusiasts. They've been rolling out handheld gaming devices that are not just affordable but also packed with solid features. One of their notable creations is the RG353V, released in late 2022. This device is perfect for those who relish playing classic games, but with the convenience of modern tech. Equipped with a Rockchip RK3566 chipset, a petite yet vivid IPS display, and a battery life that keeps you gaming for hours, it's a gem for any retro gamer. What's the Amber Deck all about? The Amber Deck isn't a new gadget off the production line. It's an ingenious transformation of the existing RG353V into a Linux-powered workstation. The genius behind this project, known on Reddit as UG Thing, figured out a way to integrate a BlackBerry BB9900 keyboard into the setup. Remember the BlackBerry Bold Touch 9900? Its keyboard was the stuff of legends back in the day for speedy typing. This old school keyboard was modified to hook up via a USB Type C port, making it a perfect mate for the RG353V. The nuts and bolts of DIY? Pulling off this mod required some serious DIY chops. The first step was the keyboard integration, which is cool by itself. But to physically accommodate this with the RG353V, a custom 3D printed housing was crafted. This wasn't just slapping parts together, it required designing and printing a setup that would hold the new components securely while maintaining usability. For those who love a challenge, the design files are up for grabs on Tinkercad, so you can actually print your own if you're up for it. On the software side, the Amber Deck is powered by Arcos, an operating system that's a custom spin of Ubuntu 19.10 Arch64. This choice underscores the project's geeky allure, shifting a straightforward gaming device into a compact Linux terminal. This transformation isn't just about running a different OS, it's about optimizing the device to handle a whole new type of workload, from coding projects to surfing the web in a more desktop-like environment. Looks aside, because let's admit, it's more functional than flashy, this project highlights the incredible versatility and creativity within the tech modding community. It's a profound nod to sustainability in tech, where instead of discarding old gadgets, we reimagine and repurpose them for new uses. This not only extends the life of the devices, but also reduces electronic waste. The bigger picture in tech modding community and collaboration. This project is more than just a cool tech tweak. It's really about broader implications of modding. In a world where new tech products are constantly pushed on consumers, projects like the Amber Deck remind us that with a bit of ingenuity, older tech can gain a new lease on life and even outperform some newer alternatives in certain aspects. It also speaks volumes about the personalization of technology. In an era where mass-produced gadgets are the norm, Customizing a device to meet specific personal or professional needs can be incredibly satisfying. Plus, it encourages a deeper understanding of the technology we use every day, demystifying what's under the hood and perhaps sparking interest in STEM fields. Another exciting aspect of such projects is the community and collaboration they foster. Platforms like Reddit, where UG things shared their build, are ripe with enthusiasts who exchange ideas, provide feedback, and inspire each other to tackle similar projects. This community aspect enriches the tech modding scene, making it accessible and engaging for newcomers and veterans alike. Final thoughts. For anyone inspired by the Amber Deck, there's a wealth of resources out there to help you embark on your own modding journey. Whether you're looking to replicate this project or start something entirely unique, the community is supportive and resources are plentiful. The key takeaway here is not to be intimidated by the complexity. With some research, creativity, and patience, transforming old tech into something new and exciting is within reach. 
So why not dig out an old gadget this weekend and see what potential it holds? You might just find yourself at the forefront of your own tech revolution, learning new skills, and perhaps even contributing to a more sustainable and personalized tech future. Let the Amber Deck inspire you to think outside the box and redefine what your old devices can do. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and smash that notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, happy gaming.